So we've got a couple of ideas for you to cook for your loved one on Valentine's Day. This is our dessert. Uh, it's really simple, white chocolate and raspberry tart. Absolutely delicious. Uh, white chocolate and raspberries go together beautifully. Uh, we're going to infuse the cream with some cardamom seeds. Uh, it'll give it that beautiful sort of mentally different flavour dynamics. White chocolate can be quite overpowering, so it's dead simple. I've got some sweet paste tart cases cooking in the oven, just blind baked. So I'm just going to break these down and add them to the cream. You can use a pestle and mortar, but not many people have pestle and mortar. So if we just get a rolling pin and you just want to you just want to break up the outer shells so it releases those beautiful little black seeds on the inside. So drop them into a pan. Then we want 300 mils of double cream. So 300 mils of double cream. And then we just need to bring that up just to a simmer. We also have one whole egg. A little tip, get any shells in your egg, use the other part of the shell. Comes out, perfect. Three tablespoons of sugar, that goes in. And we just want to give that Aside from making a lot of noise, a little whisk. So whisk that together. And that's going to help set our chocolate tart. Tart cases will be just about done. Yes. Beautiful, so we'll just let those cool down. On there. So I'll blind bake those. You can find a recipe on crumble.com uh, showing you how to work with sweet pastry, how to blind bake, and the like. I've got 200 grams of white chocolate here. Just comes in a block. I've just shredded it down just so it melts a bit quicker. So that goes into a big bowl. We're just going to wait for our cream to come up to temperature now. So our cardamom infused cream has come up to the boil, so I'm just going to pour that through the sieve straight onto the chocolate. So you want to stir that in until the white chocolate melts. It'll start to change colour. Just keep it moving. You want to get all those lumps out and you want it silky smooth, nice and glossy. Right, so you want to pour the chocolate onto the eggs and sugar, keeping it moving all the time so you don't scramble the eggs. And just to make sure we've got all the bits out of there, I'm going to pass it again. So we've got our pre-cooked tart cases here. And we just want to pour our chocolate mixture into them. Then that goes into the oven at 140 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. Basically, what you want is when you shake the tray, you still want to have a little bit of wobble in the middle of the tart. The tart's been in the oven for about 20 minutes. And they've just got a little bit of wobble left in them. Can you see that? So we'll just let those chill a little bit and then we can get to plating. Really, really simple. In the meantime, I've got some freeze-dried raspberries that you can just get from the supermarket. Um, and I've just powdered some of those down, just crushed them into a bit of a powder. Uh, it just looks nice when you dust it across the top of the chocolate tart. And we're going to serve it with uh, just some fresh raspberries that I'm going to just cut in half. So get some of this raspberry dust and just, just sort of chuck it from, from a height. Give it a nice little sprinkle. And it's really easy, however, however you want to plate it, really. Really, really simple. Uh, white chocolate and raspberry tart. Spoil that person in your life that you love or trying to impress. Uh, I'm going to put the recipe on the website. Thanks for watching. It's super easy. Let us know how you get on.